Welcome to Virginia Mason. My name is Fatima Milfrin, and I am a stroke neurologist. We want to ensure that before you are discharged, you have all the information you need. We also want you to understand where your support and resources are, and for you to be able to recognize what are the signs and symptoms of a stroke and what to watch out for. And if you are at home, what you need to do should you or a loved one experience any of these symptoms. Hello, my name is Carrie Stadler and I am the inpatient trainer and neuroeducation specialist at Virginia Mason. I wanna to talk to you about stroke prevention as your risk for having a stroke is highest after you initially have one. The most important thing to remember is to take your prescribed medication. If you are having side effects from the medication, please don't stop or change the regimen without consulting with your primary care physician as they will likely have other options for you. If possible, monitor your blood pressure at home. Blood pressure cuffs are often available at your local pharmacy. Maintain a healthy low sodium diet and speak with your provider about setting up an exercise regimen for home. You should see your primary care provider regularly, and if you don't already have one, let your nurse or physician know and we can help. Remember to schedule your follow-up outpatient visits before you leave. Hi, I'm Kelly Hurley, Stroke Coordinator here at Virginia Mason. As Carrie mentioned, it's really important that you follow up with our neurology team after being discharged. If you aren't sure if you have an appointment yet, please check in with your team to see that you have an appointment scheduled prior to going home. When you do follow up with our neurology team, ask to learn more about our stroke shared group visit. Here you and your loved ones can learn how to best care for yourself when going home after having a stroke. And always remember, 80% of strokes are preventable by our own behaviors. So changes you make today can help prevent stroke in the future. Hi, I'm Dr. Hermanson and I'm a nurse practitioner in our outpatient neurology clinic. Coming to the Outpatient neurology clinic is one of the most important things you can do after leaving the hospital. It's important for prevention of stroke and making sure we have a good treatment plan in place for you. So at the outpatient visit, we are going to focus on ways to prevent stroke and help you recover from your current stroke, connect you with resources to provide you along every step of that journey. Let's make a plan to accomplish your goals individualized to your needs. Hello, my name is Nancy Eisenberg and I am the founding director of our Center for Healthy Aging. We have created a shared medical appointment to focus on risk reduction and prevention of stroke and dementia. And there are simple lifestyle and dietary approaches that can impact risk. And this visit is a supportive environment to ask questions and to learn about various approaches to optimize brain function and to prevent subsequent strokes. We know that when you're in the hospital, there's a lot of information and it's very important to follow up with your outpatient neurologist and at your shared medical appointment to focus on prevention of subsequent strokes. Make sure that you speak to your doctor about a follow-up appointment for a shared medical visit for brain health strategies to manage stroke and dementia risk. Hi, my name is Dr. Steve O'Donnell. I'm a stroke neurologist at the Virginia Mason Medical Center. If you or someone you know is having the signs or symptoms of stroke, it's time to call 911. Remember the letters B fast. B is for balance problems, E is for eyes, so double vision, or vision loss. F is for facial weakness, A is for arm weakness, and S is for speech, which is inability to talk or slurred speech. And T is the most important, time. Time to call 911. Since you've had a stroke, you're at increased risk of having another. Don't wait. If you or someone you know is BFAST positive, call 911 and go to your nearest hospital.